Okay, so we're going to play around a bit more with this function before, before we leave this uh, dice thingy uh, for now. Uh, in the game I'm making, it's actually important to uh, roll a, a number of equals. In my case, it's often e most important to roll at least three equals, but that's not really interesting right now. But um, but you also have to roll high enough. Uh, rolling uh, uh, three equals of twos might not be interesting for the player. It, well, the equals are, are used for leveling up a skill value. And if your skill value is high, you need to roll even higher with the dice uh, to level up. So I will, I'm going to modify this count equals function to, um, uh, to reflect this. So uh, just in practice, uh, if your skill value in my game is two, you need to have roll three equals that is greater than two. So uh, three threes is okay, three twos is not okay if your skill value is two. So I'm gonna, in this count equals thing, add a new parameter, a new uh, argument called uh, limit or something. And I'm gonna hear when I go through all the dice that have been rolled, see if not only uh, the result, uh, well, check if the result is high enough. So I'm gonna say if result is higher than limit, then do this. Okay, so I'm just tweaking this function, uh, counting the number equal function um, by adding uh, a small thing here saying we only count uh, the dice uh, that are higher than the limits given here. Only dice higher than the given limit are counted. I'm gonna do this. If not limit, then limit is equal to zero. So if we don't provide it, well, actually, let's not do it in this way. Let's do it this way. This is a good thing to know. It, you can, when uh, describing parameters or arguments, sorry, uh, give them values here. This means that if there is no value for the limit given when the function is called, the limit will be zero. Uh, that will help you, well, uh, help you avoid some extra code lines. So right now the, the function works just as before, but I'm gonna now say, uh, when we simulate number of dice, we can also add a limit. Simulate dice rolls, number of dice, limit and let's see count equals dice comma limit okay there we go i'm gonna add an extra value here i guess so if you have a skill value of three let's see here This is your likelihood of leveling up when rolling, say, uh, five, 15 dice. You get 90% of cases, uh, uh, already at percentile 10, you get these three equals. But if you roll 11 dice, you have two thirds of leveling up in my game. And if you roll nine dice, you have, well, a bit more, well, about 50%. 50% chance of leveling up. So um, tweaking a bit, getting more uh, information uh, out from your code and your data. That's it. Uh, we, I'm going to start a new series looking at how to use cards, work with cards uh, when doing simulations uh, like this. And then eventually in the future, I'm going to uh, do a full simulation of a very simple game. I hope. See you there. Bye.